we have got a problem with the water pressure and the flow pressure in this house. Now we've got to find a solution for it because at the moment when the customer gets in the shower and someone flushes the toilet or opens a tap, the shower cuts out completely. And the problem is there's two, possibly three showers in this house and they're all doing the same thing. So we've got to find out what's wrong with the water pressure, what we can do about it, and if not, I may have a solution to it at the end. But first of all, we've got to go through all the right procedures and find out exactly what is going on with this water pressure or that's not going on with this water pressure. So what we've got to start off here, we've got our water main coming in through here, our cold main coming in, it's coming up through this valve block here and coming off and feeding a water softener that is there. Now I think this may be the problem, but let me show you around now exactly what flow rate they've got coming out of the taps because it's not great at all. What I'm going to use is the Salamander Aquascan. Now this is a great bit of kit, I've had it a while, it's basically a four-in-one digital multimeter gives you flow rates flow peaks pressure pressure rates pressure peaks but this is what we can attach to various points of the house to find out what's going on but first of all i'm going to connect it on to this outside tap here to give you the first port of call of what we're dealing with so i'll empty that out with that turned off here Let's turn the outside tap on and we can see straight away pressure 3.6 bar with a peak of 4.2. So what I'm going to do is reset that and we've now got a, the standing pressure 3.4 bar peak 3.5. That's with the tap turned on. If we open it up here it will give us our litres a minute flowing through this point here. We are at... 12, uh, 11, 11, 12 litres a minute here. So if I go in here and open this tap and also open this kitchen tap, let me look at that straight away. And if we quickly go back out, I've got to keep this door shut because there's a, a cat. I mean, with just those two taps on, we're at seven litres a minute. So that's that outside tap running, the utility tap and the kitchen tap. Let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. So let's leave that kitchen tap running here with all the others off. So that can sort of represent either a toilet flushing or a washing machine running or someone using that tap. Let me take you through and show you what it's like everywhere else. So this is the downstairs cloakroom shower. As you can see, that's hardly coming out. Then we go to the first floor, the basin tap dripping out, and then we'll go over to the bathroom shower. And as you can see, it's barely even coming out the body one, let alone the rainfall shower at the top. We've got to get something done with this. So that is what the water pressure is like through the rest of the house. It's really bad. So what we've got to do first of all is work out what pressure is actually coming through the main. Now with everything off, there's a pressure gauge there reading two and a half, is it? No, it's three bar. And that collaborates with what we've got inside there. So with just that tap running there, we have still only got I mean look, with six litres a minute with the tap running and I think I've just flushed the toilet as well. So six litres a minute, it's no good. So then the first thing we've got to do is get onto this incoming main. So we've got our incoming main there, we've got a valve here to shut it off with, and then it comes through this uh, water softener block. Now what you can do with the water softener block is completely shut the water softener off, open this top valve here, and then what we can do is connect our Aquascan onto there and it will tell us exactly what the water pressure is coming from the main to this first point here. So once we're there, we know when we've connected it onto the main outside, it drops to like 12 litres a minute. So if it's going to do the same there, we know that the main is the problem. Now, I do have a little bit of a concern because there is a water softener in line. So 
you know, like the pipe work here, it seems all right. It seems to be flowing, but this is my concern is whether, when the water's coming through that water softener, it's dropping the pressure and everything down. So we can see, but we can do that by completely isolating the water softener then. Let's get that done. Let's get the aqua scan. And the good thing with this is, we can connect the aqua scan on. I can go straight onto that fit in there, straight into the aqua scan at the bottom, straight into the bucket, so we can get instant reading of what the water pressure's like there. So to get the aqua scan connected, and we're just going to disconnect the water softener here with their braided hoses. Just undo it with the bucket underneath, empty that out, and drop that pipe into there. Then we can get the connection for the aqua scan on. So it comes with all the fittings. It's 22 mil flexible connection here. Pop that on there. Little nip up with the adjustables, and then just get the aqua scan and put it on hand tight. Just nip it up, ready to get all of our readings. Right, we have got the aqua scan now mounted into here. Let's just turn it on. Like so. Again, it comes with a flexi hose. All the fittings inside the aqua scan box basically means you can fit it to literally any connection going. So, so we've turned the two valves that feed the water softener off. Now this one here at the top is the bypass valve. That is in, in case ever there's a problem with the water softener, the customer can just isolate that turn that on and they've got mains water coming straight through now we could have tried that to begin with it would have given us a rough idea but i thought i'd rather do it on camera where we can see exactly what the flow rates are let's turn that on so this will give us the water pressure straight into the aqua scan so there we go, we've got 3.2 standing pressure. If we now open up, because I need to hold it with two hands, if we now open up the valve on the bottom, this is gonna give us the water goes straight through the aqua scan. I wanna see that more than 12 liters a minute. Now I do know that water authorities only have to give a certain amount of sort of, we are supplying your home with this much. I think off the top of my head, it is eight liters a minute. I might be wrong, drop in the comments below, let me know if you know it, but I'm sure it's eight liters a minute and 1.2 bar of pressure rings a pal in my head might be completely wrong but i think that's what it is so let's turn it on okay we've got 18 19 liters a minute coming through there okay so let's reconnect that however that is without it going through the water softener. So my next thing is run it through the water softener to see what we've got coming through that. It sort of pointed to the water softener. That was my initial thought. So what we can do now is we can take this off, re-isolate the, the valve that's bypassing the water softener, turn the water softener back on, and in theory, put the aqua scan on the outlet side of the water softener and see what we've got. All right, as I said, we've got so many fittings to get onto everything. We've put this quick release attachment onto this hose coming direct from the water softener. So if we just click that into there, like so, we are now connected direct to the water softener. So if I turn that on, so we've got 3.7 bar coming through the water softener. So if I open this up now here, this will give us our litres per minute that is coming direct through that water softener. I'll be interested to see what this is because I thought this was going to be the limiting factor. Yeah, we've got a peak reading. We've got 0.3 of a bar coming through and a peak 19 litres a minute. It seems to be standard 18, 19 litres a minute coming through the water softener. Interesting. Right, let me empty this bucket before we get soaking wet. That's why you always need to turn the valve off. I completely forgot to turn it off. Right, let's get this mopped up, for God's sake. So we now know we've got 18 litres a minute at this point here going back into the cold feed that is feeding the rest of the house. So in theory, that should be absolutely fine. I don't know whether there was a problem going on in here somewhere and, and maybe when we've opened it or whatever, it's allowed more through, but we're definitely getting six, seven liters everywhere else. So let's go and put a check on the outside tap that's just down here and see where we're at. 
So what I'm thinking with this is, even though we've got, you know, 18 litres a minute blow rate on it, however, the pressure is obviously governed to three bar on our pressure reducing valve, but when we open a tap, we're not even getting that. It is dropping straight down. So the further up the building you go, the less water pressure you're gonna to have to push the water out up there. I think that could be our issue. So let's connect that onto there. Make sure that's off and turn on what we've got and just reset it. So we've got 2.7 bar, taps on, let's open it up. There we go, 13, 13 litres a minute coming through there. Now before, I think that was, was it seven or eight, six, seven, eight, something like that. We've gained a bit here. So it's got to have been something we've we've opened or disturbed or whether that valve was playing up to a degree. Strange one this. So yeah, this is the this is the valve that we've connected onto from uh, the water softener, and then it comes up through that pressure reducing valve. But we know that pressure reducing valve is at three bar. Let's double check it again. I know it is. Yeah, three bar. So. Let's find the next point in here that we can check something. So this is the pipe coming over here. It's coming down, then it goes in to feed the cylinder. But we've got this coal coming off. There you go, into the filling loop. So let's try it through here and see what we get in here. Right, while we're here, I'll just quickly check the pressure inside there. It should be three bar. We'll get it connected on and make sure and it's all right. <laughs> So we know that's all right. Again, more fit in. So we've got this one onto that one, onto that. So there's always a way of getting it to connect in. Here we go. And then we can put our aqua scan onto there. Like so. All right, let's hold it over our bucket. Turn that off. 3.2 bar. Let's reset that again. 3.2 bar, let's turn it on here and see. It's 15 litres a minute coming through here. So that's loads better than what we've been getting. Yeah, 15 litres a minute. So at this point with 15 litres a minute, so we know the cold is 15 litres a minute. It, it's showing give or take the same out there. So before, it was, I should have tested it on this bit, to be honest, but I suppose the gauge out there on the outside tap, it was six, seven or eight, I can't remember which one it was. We're now 13, 14 litres a minute there. We're 15 litres a minute here. So we know up to here is 15 litres a minute. Let's go and put a test on the shower. So what I've done here is connected the Aquascan to the hose of the shower with one of the fittings. As you can see, we've got 2.9 bar of pressure but if we open it up and see what the flow rate is, you can see it is six, seven liters a minute. Right, let's go and try this on the shower upstairs. So all we've got to do is remove the shower head, unscrew it off, and then get the attachment for the Aquascan and connect it back onto the shower hose. Easy as that. Tighten it up and turn the shower on. 2.3 bar in here, let's turn it on. So with it turned on, you can see we've got six, seven litres a minute coming through this shower as well. So what we found is the main supply 18 litres a minute at the points we've tested coming through the water softener. Outside tap out there, we're getting 13 litres a minute, whereas before we was on six or seven. So I think possibly something's been opened up or, or semi-closed or something in there, but I've had all the valves open and closed and it seems to have, have upped it. I haven't done anything, I don't know. Anyway, we've tested also from the filling loop. We've tested the outside tap out the back, 13 litres a minute. But then when we've gone to test the showers, we're only getting seven, seven, eight litres a minute coming through the showers. We know that the feed going to it is 13, 14 litres a minute. So, however, when we was running that shower, we opened the bath tap and it just dropped the shower out completely. So I'm a little bit stumped with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ring Johnny at Salamander and just have a chat with him and tell him where we're at with it and to see if he can guide us a little bit because 
One of the solutions to this was fit in a mains tank booster, a 200 litre mains tank booster that would supply, I think it's up to 80 litres a minute, which is massive. I'm just a little bit stuck on this one. So here we go. I will try and get it up on the screen if I can. But yeah, that will supply 80 litres a minute being tank boosted there. But I have sort of spoke to him a little bit about it. And that was what I was alluding to at the start is this mains tank booster would be the complete solution but it's a couple of grand or something like that to get that fitted so we wanted to check everywhere to see if there was anything obvious we have lifted it slightly as you've seen but clearly not enough because halfway up the building it's just dropping out completely so i'm going to quickly ring johnny now at salamander and get his verdict on it and then we'll find out exactly which route we're going to go so with that kitchen tap running in there We'll turn this one on because I think I think it's the pressure issue to be honest. <laughs> Look, the pressure gauge on here has dropped right down. So even though we've got a high flow rate and standing pressure of three bar, we reset that and turn this on. We have got, now with those other taps running, we've got 1.4 bar of pressure in the main with those running, which we've got. So if we open this now, I dare say after seeing 13, 14 litres a minute here, we're gonna see nine, eight, nine. Yeah, there we go. Eight, nine liters a minute, and zero pressure. So the pressure's off. But we should still have a bit of pressure building up. That's why, as the further up the building we go, the less water is coming out of the, the shower, the taps, etc. So pressure and flow is an issue on this job. Now, the way we're gonna fix this, I think, is with a mains booster tank. Now, it's a big outlay. We need to have a chat with the customer, but what we've done today has figured out exactly what the issue is. So what we've done today, we've eliminated certain things. We can physically see what pressure, what flow is there or isn't there, so to speak. And the remedy is a Salamander mains booster tank. Now, obviously, if I come to fit one here, I've got to put it through the customer first, make sure they're happy with it. If we get the go ahead, that'll be coming soon to the channel. So if you've enjoyed this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get subscribed to the channel, drop me a comment, and also get yourself an aqua scan. I'll put all the links in the description below.